Hey everyone, the Game Chief here. Today I'm going to be doing a video on creating a Discord bot to display your Daisy server player count. So this setup is actually super simple to get going. I already have had this setup on my test server. So if we look into Discord over here, we can see we have our test server showing up here, showing zero out of five players on the server. And we're going to just be replicating that today for our video series server. So let's go ahead and get started right after this quick message. This video is sponsored by Caliber Servers. Caliber Servers provides dedicated machines with amazing configurations such as the Ryzen 9 5950X and the Ryzen 5 5900X. Don't need that much horsepower and don't want to break the bank. They also have lower spec machines and even VPS slash KVM servers. And along with that, they also offer regular game server hosting as well. At Caliber Servers, the customer is king. All clients get direct contact with the owner via WhatsApp for emergencies. Check out their website and Discord server for more information and to find a plan that is right for you. Mention the Game Chief while ordering and use code the Game Chief for 10% off your first purchase. And don't forget to thank them for sponsoring these videos. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm on the player count Discord bot GitHub page. This will be linked in the video description. This is made by Gravity Wolf Not Amused, or in other words, like Larry. He's one of the guys from the Vanilla Plus Plus team. This is something that they created in-house for their servers, but then they released open source for everyone else to use. So this project is open source and you can actually download this and open it in Visual Studio as it all is in C Sharp. And you can go ahead and make any changes you would like there. But in this case, we won't be needing Visual Studio as we'll be using the pre-compiled version. So there are some requirements to get started here. The first one is we do need .NET Core 3.1 on wherever we're going to be running this. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this link that's listed right here. We'll go ahead and remote into our server as this is where I'm going to be running it. You can run this on another machine. Just make sure wherever it's running is going to be running 24-7 and you'll be good to go. So we'll go ahead and paste this link in. It's going to go ahead and download the .NET Core 3.1. So we'll wait on that. And we'll go ahead and click on that and we'll hit install. And that will go through. And we'll close out of that as that is done. We can close out of that. And we can go ahead and minimize out of a remote connection. So now that we have the .NET Core installed, we're going to go ahead and download a copy of this from GitHub. So we'll click on the little download code icon here. And then we'll see download zip. We'll right click. We'll copy that link. We'll go back into our remote machine. And we'll download that. That's going to go ahead and download a zip file. We'll open that up and then I'm just going to go ahead and place this on my desktop. You can place this anywhere, of course. And then we can close out of that. And if we open this up, we can see there's that readme, which is just that main page we were just looking at the solution file. So once again, you can edit everything about this. For now, we're going to go into the Discord player count bot folder and then we'll go into bin and then debug and then net core app. And then here's a pre-compiled version ready to go. The first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to make some changes to the config file. So we're going to go ahead and open this up and add them here so we can make those changes. Any text editor will work. I just personally use Adam. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and change is the bot name. So in my case, I'm going to call this like Daisy something. So I named this Daisy video series bot. Doesn't really matter too much. And then we have the bot address. So this needs to be the public IP address of your server that's actually running the game server. So we can check here. This would be the IP address of the server that hosts my Daisy server. So we'll paste that in. And then this needs to be the Steam query port. So by default, that's going to be 27016. And that's what I have. If we look at Omega Manager here, we can see that is my Steam query port for this server. And you do not need to use a Mega Manager or anything like that, uh, just because this goes all based off the Steam uh, Query API, and it does not use the CF Tools API. It's just personally what I use, but we can just verify, yep, that is the correct port that we're using for the server, so that's good to go. And then it's going to ask for some more information, so we're going to minimize out our remote connection. And what we're going to need is a Steam Web API key. So it sends us a link to it right here. You'll log in for your Steam account. As you can see, I already have one created, but we're going to revoke this. And we're going to create a new one. And I'm just going to go ahead and use the domain name that I have here. So that's my personal domain. And then I believe it lets you use IP addresses here as well. So you can do that. And then we just have to agree to the terms and register. And that does give us a new API key that we can use. Again, this is a private key. I'll revoke this and make a new one later. But we can go ahead and copy this. 
if it would let me, there we go. And we'll go back into our remote connection, we'll paste that in there, and we can minimize out again. And if you are using Omega Manager, you probably already have a web API key created. So if that's the case, you'll be able to use that. Instead, you won't need to regenerate a new one. So we can close out of this. And we're going to need to go ahead and actually create the Discord bot. So we'll go ahead and go to Discord's developer portal. And I'm already signed in, so you'll need to sign in, and then we'll land on this page. And as you can see here, I already have one here. So we're going to go ahead and create a new application. And then we're just going to call this Daisy. And then the name doesn't matter too much here, but we're just going to go ahead and give it Daisy Video Series Server. We'll go ahead and create that. And then it gives us some basic information, all the keys and all that. And then you can do an app icon. I'm going to go ahead and do that real fast, just with a random Daisy logo. And we can save that. And then next, we'll go ahead and go on to the bot tab here. And then we're going to go ahead and create that actual bot. So we'll hit yes, create the bot. And then this will automatically pull the icon that we created in general information. And then this where is going to autofill the application name for the bot. However, we're probably going to name this differently. So if we go back here, we can see exactly what this bot's named. So it's going to be test server one. And then we're going to set this to be video series. And then make sure everything looks good because it is very important that you get the name correct. You can only change it once every 24 or 48 hours. And then the only other thing I like to change here is I would like to uncheck that it's a public bot because you don't really need anyone else adding this to their own server. I mean, you can if you really want to, but in our case, we don't want that. So we'll hit save changes. And it doesn't need any permissions or anything like that. So that's all good to go. So next, we need to invite the bot to our server. So we're going to go to general information because we're going to need this application ID in a moment. And if we scroll down on this GitHub page, there is a link to invite the bot. We're going to copy that. We're going to paste that into a new tab. And then as we can see here, we have in brackets client ID. So we'll copy that application ID right here. And then we'll just go ahead and make sure that we paste that in and we don't leave those brackets as we don't want them. We'll press enter. This is going to ask us which server we want to add it to, so we'll go and select one. And now that we have our server selected, we'll hit authorize. We'll confirm we're not a bot. And then that goes through. And if we look over here, we can see that it did get added, so that's good to go. And then as you can see here, I have this like little tag here that shows up. So the way I did that was I went into our server settings, and then I created a role. And I created a role named Daisy Server Player Counts. And then all this role does, it displays separately from online members. And then it also has its own caller, doesn't need any other permissions besides that. So we'll go ahead and add this one to that role as well. And then once it comes online, it'll show up over here as well. So we're going to go back to the Discord developer portal. And we do need to go to bot one more time. And then there's this token. Again, this is like a private token. I'm going to delete this after, so it doesn't really matter. But we'll go ahead and copy this token. We'll go back into our remote machine. We'll paste that in there. And then that's all the different tokens and keys that we need. And then the other settings we can change is how often we want to update. Every 30 seconds is perfectly fine. And then we can enable debug mode if we're trying to troubleshoot an issue, but we'll leave that off. So we'll go ahead and minimize out of this. And then we should be ready to start the bot. So we'll go over to Discord player bot.exe. And we'll run it. We'll hit more info, run anyways. And it's going to go ahead and load that. And if we minimize out of here and go back to this, we can see it is now online. And it actually shows there's zero out of five players because five is the max. And then it'll also tell you if players are queuing. If you have a full server and there's like a queue, it'll tell you how many people are in queue. So we'll go ahead and join the server and make sure that updates properly. Alrighty, and now that we're in, we can go ahead and alt tab out of here and go back into Discord. And we can see it's already updated to say one out of five now instead. So that should be good to go. And that's about it. So you'll want to just make sure you leave this window open as if you close this, it will stop the bot, of course. So make sure you keep that running as long as you want that to show up and everything should be good to go. And as always, there is always the possibility I forgot something or there may be some sort of mistake in the video. 
Always be sure to check the video description and the pinned comment below for any corrections. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment on the video or join my Discord server, which is always in the video description. Joining the Discord server does allow you to DM me, and you can also see there's a support channel and a few other things so other people can help you out with certain issues. And once again, thanks to Caliper Servers for sponsoring the video. If you're looking for a quality, dedicated server host, I highly recommend them. Links are in the description as always. And if you guys have any video suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. And other than that, have a good one.